Michael Jackson trial, there are some moments that seem fixed in the public consciousness. Michael dancing on his SUV, pajama day, the chanting fans, the famous defenders, all of those things became part of the cultural memory of the case. But one thing that didn't is Gavin Arvizo himself, the boy who was supposed to be at the center of everything. Because there were no recordings from inside the courtroom, we can't go back and replay the proceedings to see what Melissa Harrard and others saw in Gavin Arvizo's demeanor on the stand. But we do have court transcripts, the literal word-for-word -word reference of what was said in court. In a case with so many loud voices, it's worth reading from Gavin's testimony so he isn't lost amongst the shuffle of everything else. Just a warning, the next two minutes contain overt descriptions of abuse that may be difficult for some listeners. On the stand, Gavin described his relationship with Michael this way. I looked to him as a father figure, and he looked at me as a son. I felt as if he was my guider, a teacher to me in life. Gavin said that one night he and Michael had been drinking alcohol in Neverland's arcade and then went back to Michael's room. There, Michael started talking to the then 13-year-old about masturbation. Here's what Gavin said Michael told him, according to the court transcript. He was telling me that guys have to masturbate. He told me a story of he saw a boy one time, he was looking over a balcony or something, and he saw a boy who didn't masturbate, and he had sex with a dog. He said if I didn't know how, that he would do it for me. And I said I didn't really want to. And then he said it was okay, that it was natural, and that it's natural for boys to do it. And so I was under his covers, and then that's when he put his hand in my pants, and then he started masturbating me. Gavin said Michael masturbated him for five minutes, leading to ejaculation. He described feeling weird afterwards, while Michael tried to comfort him before falling asleep. Gavin then recalled a second time abuse occurred. Gavin told the prosecutor, he said that he wanted to teach me, and then we were laying there, and then he started doing it to me, and then he kind of grabbed my hand in a way to try to do it to him, and I pulled my hand away because I didn't want to do it. Since the trial, the Arvizos haven't spoken publicly and have maintained an extremely private life. When we reached out to the Arvizos through an intermediary, they told us that the family did not wish to be contacted, nor would they give statements or interviews. Still, it's worth saying the Arvizo family kept that promise Janet made on the stand. For a trial that the defense argued was all about money, the family never filed a civil suit against Michael Jackson. Hey, he, he watched the dog have sex with a boy next door. What, you watched the dog? Watch the dog have sex with a boy next door. Michael ha guardato, ha visto che il cane praticamente faceva del sesso con il bambino nella porta accanto. E a lui piace guardare queste cose. Ecco, ma alla base di tutto questo.